In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I am dearly beloved in Christ, I am Father Emmanuel Awia, and I would like to share with you a touch of God's love. That is a short recollection and prayer on the Holy Mass readings of Friday, 6 September 2024, in the 2nd week in Ordinary Time. The readings are taken from 1 Corinthians 4, 1-5, Psalm 36, 3-6, 27, 28, 39-40, Luke 5, 33-39. The theme of the reflection is how to be a believer in God. How to be a believer in God. The first reading says, People must think of us as Christ's servants, stewards, and trusted with the mysteries of God. What? is expected of stewards is that each one should be found worthy of his trust. Not that it makes the slightest difference to me whether you or indeed any human tribunal find me worthy or not. I will not even pass judgment on myself. Two, my conscience does not reproach me at all, but that does not prove that I am acquitted. The Lord alone is my judge. There must be no person of premature judgment. Leave that until the Lord comes. He will light up all that is hidden in the dark and reveal the secret intentions of man's heart. Then will be the time for each one to have whatever praise he desires from God. And the Gospel says, the Pharisees and the scribes said to Jesus, John's disciples are always fasting and saying prayers, and the disciples of the Pharisees too, but yours go on eating and drinking. Jesus replied, Surely you cannot make the bridegroom's attendants fast while the bridegroom is still with them. But the time will come, the time for the bridegroom to be taken away from them. That will be the time when they will fast. He also told them this parable. No one tears a piece from a new cloak to put it on an old cloak. If he does, not only will he have torn the new one, but the piece taken from the new will not match the old. And nobody puts new wine into old skins. If he does, the new wine will burst the skins and then run out and the skins will be lost. No, new wine must be put into fresh skins. And nobody who has been drinking old wine wants new. The old is good enough, he says. Beloved, The first reading says, a believer in God must be a servant of Christ, a person entrusted with the mysteries of God. We have been given mysteries of God. What do we do with them? To believe in them and to live them, to keep them, to live according to the mysteries of God. Not just a servant, but a trustworthy servant. And so a believer is not just a servant of Christ, but a trustworthy servant of Christ. And our trustworthiness should not depend on how we judge ourselves or how people judge us, but how God judges us. How God judges us. St. Paul says, the Lord alone is my judge. So it does, not matter, it does not mean that we should ignore the criticism of people or neglect to evaluate ourselves. As the philosopher uh, Socrates says, an unevaluated life is not worth living. So what it means, what St. Paul means is that after listening to people and evaluating our lives, we should also listen to what the Holy Spirit says about our lives. The Holy Spirit is the final judge. He tells us the mind of Jesus, the mind of the Father. So he is the final judge. So the reading says we should avoid premature judgment. We should not say who will go to heaven 
and who will go to hell. It is when we finally meet the Lord that we will get what we deserve, says the reader. And the Gospel confirms this with three statements. First, when the Pharisees and scribes asked why Jesus' disciples were not fasting, his response was that the bridegroom's attendants should not fast in his presence, but in his absence. This implies that Jesus, the bridegroom, is the final judge as to whether we should fast or not. Fasting should not be done just as a custom, but to draw us closer to God or to seek special favors from God. Since Jesus was with them and was granting them favors, there was no need to fast. There was no need to fast. Secondly, he also said, we cannot use a new cloth to patch an old one. Else, we, can, we cannot use a new cloak, a new cloak, uh, a piece of a new shirt. We tear a new shirt to patch an old shirt. We cannot do that. Uh, else, we may spoil the new shirt or the new cloak, and the new will not, the new piece that we are used to patch the old shirt, they will not even match. Everybody will know that it is a patch. <laughs> and they will laugh. So, Jesus is the new cloth. The new cloak. Jesus is the new cloak. The new shirt. Cannot tear a part of him. And patch an old cloak. His example should be followed completely, not cut and mixed with our culture. Our culture, traditional culture is our old cloak. Our worldly way of living is our old cloak. We should not patch the new culture of Jesus and patch our, old, our culture. It does not mean we should not do inculturation but it means we have to discern whether the cultural values we are mixing with our faith are according to the will of God or not. There should be no inculturation without discernment. Don't just take an act because it is your culture, but we have, to, we have to discern. Jesus should be the chief judge in inculturation. Thirdly, he said, when we put new wine into old skins, we will burst the old skins. New wine should be put in new skins. And the one who has the habit of drinking old wine thinks the old is good. It implies that the new wine, Jesus, Jesus is the new wine and should, should be the final judge. We should not obey Jesus sometimes and at other times obey our culture. That is syncretism. When we have two judges, we are most likely to obey the one we have the habit of obeying. That is our culture. We are most likely to be more obedient to our culture than to Jesus. So to be a trustworthy believer in God, to be a believer in God, is to always allow God to be your final judge. Dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace to always allow God to be your final judge. In the name of Jesus, be a trustworthy believer. Amen. You can share God's love by sharing this message with others and subscribing to this YouTube channel to enable us to do more. The subscription is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. Psalm 1, 1 to 3 says, The one who loves and met this on the word of God day and night is blessed. May this become a reality in your life. And may Almighty God bless and protect you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.